Ed and Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. We are going to discuss today the general form for a quadratic polynomial. I have already told in the previous videos quadratic is when the degree of the polynomial is 2. That's when we call it as a quadratic polynomial. So the general form of the polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c and we already know by now that the value of a b and c are nothing but the coefficients and c is called as a constant x square and x are the variables 2 is called as the degree of the polynomial now there is a relationship between the zeros of the polynomial. Zeros of the polynomial are nothing but the number which you will substitute in the polynomial to get after solving my answer is 0. So those numbers which you have already substituted are called as the zeros of the polynomial. If you have not seen the previous video then I've put the link in the description box. Do check it out so that this part becomes very clear. Okay, so once we know what is the zeros of the polynomial, let's understand what is the relationship. The relationship is something like this. Now, those of you all who are looking at these for the first time are already scared by now. What are these initials? Okay, don't worry, no, they are nothing but this symbol is called as alpha, it's a Greek symbol, this one is called as beta. Okay, so the relationship is alpha plus beta. What are these alpha and beta? They are nothing but the zeros of the polynomial. So, what I was telling you, you put some number, right? If you put some number over here, after solving, you get the answer is zero. Then those numbers which you have substituted are called as the zeros. So we are considering over here that those two numbers, why am I saying only two is because the degree is two over here. So those two numbers are nothing but that alpha and beta. The relationship is that if you add those two numbers is equal to, it will be B negative of B negative of b upon a. This is the relationship. It is called sum of the zeros. Sum of the zeros is equal to minus b upon a. And here it is product of zeros. That means those two zeros if I multiply it will be equal to this number which I will get if I take whatever the number is over here divided by whatever is number over here. That is c upon a. And it is very important that you learn these two formulas clearly. You should know it. Even if I, you know, someone would ask you in your deep sleep, you should be able to tell this. That sum of zeros, alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a. Alpha beta is equal to c upon a. How do I get the? It is from the general equation. For your exam, you can get a question like this. Find the sum and product of zeros of a polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10. So this is the polynomial that is given to you and you have to find out the sum and the product of zeros. Very simple. All I will do is, I've already told you what is the formula. Sum of zeros is minus b upon a, which is, this is a over here. That is nothing means it is 1 b is plus 7 sign please take consider of the sign as well don't miss out the sign and here it is 10 okay so my alphabet the coefficients are a b and c okay so which is so 7 right so b is 7 and the sign already over here minus so minus 7 upon a. a is nothing but 1. So minus 7 upon 1. And 
product of zeros is c upon a c is 10 and a is 1 again so 10 upon 1 therefore my sum of 0 alpha plus beta is minus 7 product of zeros is 10 let us take another example and then the example is 3x square plus 5x minus 2 I need to find out the sum and the product of zeros formulas are simple sum of 0 is minus b upon a product of 0 is c upon a so in here my a is 3 b is plus 5 consider the sign as well and c is minus 2 so b upon a will be 5 that sign of mine which is there already I've put over here so put a bracket it's always better to write the bracket and then put whatever the value of b is either negative 5 positive 5 put it inside the bracket and keep this minus as it is outside so here it is b is plus 5 so I've written 5 over here upon a a is 3 and here c upon a c is minus 2 a is 3 so minus 2 upon 3 therefore my sum of 0 is nothing but sum of 0 is minus 5 upon 3 and product of 0 is minus 2 upon 3 and if whatever I have explained if you have understood please hit the like button and share it with your friends so they also know how to find out sum of zeros and product of zeros these are nothing but alpha and beta thank you very much and god bless you